It's my role to welcome you this evening with something that I really consider vital for Florida's future. Uh, this morning I had an opportunity to be in a meeting with the Broward Workshop, 7.30 this morning, and the topic was the same. I had a lady who was a principal of one of the Broward schools who said that 98% of her students couldn't read. And that was a high school. 98%. Florida is only graduating from high school. This year is the best we've ever had, 79%. It means 21% of all the children in high school don't graduate from high school. And in our minority community, it's as much as 50 to 51% don't graduate. What a tragedy. The dreams, the ambitions, the aspirations of these young children are in the hands of people that we probably pay the lowest salary. Tonight is something that I hope we are able to, through the United Way, to formulate a unified position because it's not just the K through 12 program. I host with our faculty once a month a faculty symposium. Of the 28,000 students we have at Nova Southeastern University, 80% of them are graduate and professionals, which means that we have students from all over the state of Florida coming from so-called flagship universities. And you know what our faculty say? We have to do programs to teach critical skills, whether it's law, pharmacy, medicine, optometry, dentistry, psychology, people are being taught to memorize for tests. They're not being taught the critical skills of leadership, of how to formulate in your own mind without something you memorized. And this morning, the principal and the district superintendent said, we have to take risk because we are legislated to have to teach to the test. I hope that the United Way, which is undertaken, and you'll see this evening, the results of research that's been going on for over a year. I hope it reinvigorates us because this morning, the people at that Broward workshop said, what do you want us to do? What do you want the business community to do? We don't know. What do you want us to tell the school board? What do you want us to tell our state legislators? There is no coordinated event. So I commend the United Way and the Broward Workshop and any group of individuals who want to see these young children really aim above their reach and accomplish their goals and objectives. I'd like to see 100% of the high school students go on to higher education or a vocational education to be able to be a productive citizen of society because it's proven that more than a quarter, more than a quarter, 25%. Now, if 25% of our student, young people are not graduating from high school, and 25% of those, it's been proven, 25% of the individuals that don't graduate from high school end up 
under some type of public assistance. It behooves us <laughs> to spend as much, at least as we spend to incarcerate someone, to educate them. So, tonight, as I said, I commend Dr. Flannery for her work, Dr. Flannery Anderson, excuse me, and the entire United Way. And for those school teachers and professors in the audience, have we got some tonight? Uh, some of you here? Any school teachers in the audience? Oh, thank you for coming. Let's hear it for the school teachers in the front. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Flannery Anderson. Good evening, it's a delight to be with you. Thank you for giving up your time to be here. Uh, um, I'm really humbled by the work that many members of the community have done to help us uh, put this information together to share with you. And you're gonna hear from a panel of wonderful people, my friends and professionals in the community, who I think we really now have some, a framework and some direction to share to hopefully mobilize our community to help um, educate everyone about our responsibility to help teachers in the community. I, I read, as I read the report, I think that was the thing that struck me the most is we have placed this enormous responsibility on our teachers and it's more than should be asked of any one person. And we need to t turn the mirror around and look at ourselves and what is it that we can do individually what can we do in our businesses? What can we do in our neighborhoods? What can we do in our, um, our fun time that will help our teachers be successful? And that, I think, is my takeaway uh, from, from this initiative, is the lessons that we all need to take, that what we can do individually and what we can do collectively in our groups and friends and professional areas. So thank you very much for being here. I have a few very special guests to introduce this evening. First of all, Senator Eleanor Sobel is here, and she represents Broward County, and she's a great advocate for our children and education. Thank you. And we are very privileged to have two school board members with us, Nora Rupert and Lori Rich Levinson. Would you both stand so we could recognize you? Thank you. I think having you here tonight really means a great deal to us and we want you to know that we're here to be of service and to be partners with you and uh, we do have the privilege of uh, working with more than 30,000 donors and with th two or three hundred different companies throughout Broward County so we, we want to be of service to help the educational system in Broward County. Now, we had a great, as I mentioned, we had a great panel of experts and teachers and parents and people from the, the school board and school system principals working on our effective teachers task force. And I'd like to ask all those members to stand, please. Yay. When you look in the report, you'll see their names. So um, please take a moment and thank them if, if you, um, know them and thank them afterwards. I also have to thank Nova and Dr. Hanbury for hosting us this evening. It was very generous of you and we're most grateful. I'm getting through my thank you list. All right, we got through that. Now, um, I talked a little bit about why United Way ha has taken this on. It's really become a national effort for United Way. We are working um, in Florida with um, Tampa Bay and Jacksonville to look at the the um, topic of effective teachers. And I think what it is, and also then with Florida, we're working with Tennessee and North Carolina. And this initiative is funded through the Gates Foundation. And the idea was to look at the topic of effective teachers. And again, to turn the mirror around and say, what is it that we in the community can do to help create an environment so our teachers can be effective and what can we what tools and assistance can we provide to help teachers be their best we know that this is a huge issue for our community and it can have a, a magnificent benefit not just 
on, from the economic perspective, but from the social perspective and from really changing the face of our communities. Um, so I'm very, very privileged about that. And United Way, this is a new um, way for us to address, to become part of the community and to help find solutions. So it has been kind of a um, test run for us to try this. And I think everyone's been a great sport about it. We've been able to conduct a lot of listening sessions. When you look in the report, you'll see some of the um, synopsis of the conversations. And they're very enlightening. And I think they really help frame all of our perspectives. I think the lesson is we all love our teachers and we remember our teachers and the, the responsibility that we place on teachers is enormous and so I think the lesson is what do we all do to help you teach our children because they're our future, they're all of our futures. Um, so I just want to say thank you. I, our staff at United Way has done a tremendous job. And thanks to all of you for being here this evening. We'll be available for questions. And tonight isn't the end. It's just the beginning. So if, if you are interested in being involved in this, please let us know. We're going to continue our effort um, because this is just the beginning. We all have a lot to do as a community.